Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do something slightly different, I guess. Um, we're going to take a look at Microsoft RDP and DPI scaling. Because a while back, I, I actually made a video about it. I got this nice 27 inch 4K monitor, which was about 300 bucks. And I really still love it. It's a great panel. It's an LG IPS and I can really recommend it. But Windows still has some issues with DPI scaling now and then, especially when doing RDP. So let's take a quick look at what I mean. And uh, I'm uh, doing some live OBS recording stuff here. So let's hope everything works. So let's start this VPN using, I'm using Proxmox and this is just a normal uh, Windows 10 uh, VM. Okay. And um, well, it starts like normal and uh, you can log in. But normally when you start a VM, especially I use, um, I have a VM in which I run Outlook and do all kinds of remote stuff when I'm not at home. And I have several VPN VPNs, which I use for clients. So I don't have to install their VPN client in my operating system and run like six different VPN clients at the same time. So that's why I use a lot of VPNs and VMs for that. So uh, let's close this and open the RDP. And well, the problem is probably Im immediately apparent, the text and images in this uh, VM are really, really tiny. And yeah, I can read it. But if you want to, to watch this screen the whole day long, well, that's kind of a problem. Um, so DPI scaling with RDP is a thing. It just doesn't always work correctly. And there's no real way to set it because if I go to display settings, it says, well, the display can't be changed from a remote session. I can, however, still go into advanced setting and there I can go like, okay, make everything 200% size. And you can say, okay, apply that. And uh, you sign it out. Okay, and then you think, okay, now I can uh, log back in, in again. And well, the DPI scaling should have taken place. Well, let's see if that actually happens. It doesn't. And this is exactly the problem. You can set any DPI scale you want. It's just not going to apply it. So you're stuck with these tiny text and images. Well, I actually found a solution for that or the reason why or Whatever, let's uh, log this out, sign out. And now the, the thing you need to do is you need to open a console session using your virtualization tool, be it uh, Proxmox or VMware or whatever, and actually log into the console session. And there you immediately see that it jumped to the new DPI scale. And now, well, this is comically big, of course, but okay, sure. But now, if I run exactly the same RDP session, you see it logging in and in a split second, you see it applying the DPI scale. So that's really the whole trick I wanted to show you. If you want to have DPI scaling in a VM you RDP to, once you boot that VM, you need to log into a console session once, then it will apply, um, the DPI scaling. And then once you keep reconnecting to that same session, it'll keep the DPI scaling in place and everything is nice and big. And you can use it like you use your normal PC on a 27 inch 4k monitor. So yeah, that's it. Really. I tried a lot of tricks. Most of them didn't work or didn't make any sense. And for me, using these VMs alone, if you're on a terminal server, I, I know this won't work. Uh, stuff like that. But if you use a lot of VMs on your own to do like remote VPNs or run Outlook or anything like that, doing it this way, and you can set the, uh, the DPI scaling custom to whatever you'd like, um, advanced scaling, you can just type in a number here and because it's 4k, it'll look okay on any number really. Um, this way you can still use custom DPI scaling in your RDP sessions on like a Windows 10 guest or even a server 2019 and stuff like that. So that was it. Just a quick tip and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.